We're going to look at ACL bearings today. Okay, so if we start down at this end, we've got cam bearings. So these are for a 9 on 8, so small bore, 1098. The difference between these and the 1275, which is that one there, is just that the end bearing is narrower. Otherwise, the other two are the same. Some Cooper S have a different size. There's some weird and wonderful um, configurations, but generally, 1275, 9 on 8 small ball okay um, and then we've got so you see i've marked down here on the bottom so that's 1.75 inch on the main bearing so this would be for the small bore again 1275 which runs a two inch main bearing journal and a couple of main caps here so the one on your left just there is from an a series so you see it's got a side tag just there so it's just a location tag um, in the top of the main cap. And then if you look at the A+, plus, it's got a centre tag. So that's the difference between A series and A+. Plus. A series, you've got 3M2204 and 33, 3M2205, sorry, on the A+. Plus. The difference on the 1275, it's a strange one, on the main bearings in particular, they run a metric size oversize. If your crankshaft's worn out at all and you've had it reground, you need a bigger bearing to suit. We keep down to plus 40. We don't list them on the website, so if you need plus 40, if your crank's that worn out, we do have some stock. You can go right down to 50, we've even seen 60, but they do get quite expensive. A plus, you'll have six like that. So plain, bearing all the way along. Um, and then on the pre A plus, three of them look like that. I suppose there's more strength in in with, without having the groove in there, but that's just how it is. So there is also some changeover. So if you've got a 1275 engine or, or 908 from the what, early 80s, when the A-plus came in, there is some changeover. So probably best check the block. They look like they're just one type of metal. You, see, you might see there in the light, there's a few scratches on there. They're quite soft material. We just use these for dry building engines here in the workshop. So obviously when you get them, they're all sealed up in the packets but we don't take them out so we keep them all nice and clean in there um, so ignore the scratches on there they're tri-metal bearings they're actually four layers of different metal that's kind of machined together um, so the top you've got an overlay lead not that i'm reading this still we've got lead tin copper on the top and you've got a barrier layer of nickel and then another copper lead tin construction and then finally they're steel backed so that is steel okay and then the last kind of column of bearings that we've got over here are for the big ends so on your comrades just there so we've got two different sizes as per cooper s 9 and 8 or the steel rods like we've got there for our steel cranks and then inch and three quarter as per 1275 a plus engines and um, we keep five different sizes of those so starting at the top we've got standards and then going right down to 40 again we don't list those on the website so give us a shout if you if your crank's that worn you're going to need 40 we do keep some just in case and then finally onto the acl race bearings they come in these orange gold and black packets as opposed to the blue of the duraglide this one here you see is a real narrow width big end shell that is for our multi-web cranks it's a toyota type uh, bearing main difference you'll notice out of the packet with the race bearings is that they've got like a black electroplated finish now as soon as you use them that wears off so they will when you take the engine apart again be a nice kind of shiny finish on there okay so on the race bearings we only keep three different types so we keep the multi-web big ends we keep the cooper s big ends for our steel comrades and then an a plus type main bearing so if you do have an a series block you will have to modify the block very slightly by putting the location tag in the center as per A+. If you're not sure, give us a call and we can talk you through it. Duraglide 780 top quality bearings for your A-series. Use these in road engines, race engines. If you want to go the extra mile and you've got a steel crank, then the race bearings over here on the right are better quality, but more expensive. Do make sure that they're genuine ACL bearings and they're made in Australia. So if you look on the label there, it will say made in Australia, these are the ones to get. If you're not sure about anything in the video, 
send us a, a message, email, give us a call, and we'll be happy to answer all your questions.